What up guys, welcome to my 5 Demon Hunter Tricks video guide to get you to the next level. I will do my best to keep this video short and straight to the point as it should be. Without further ado, let's get to it. As for my first trick, this is something I came up with recently and I truly believe it is incredibly powerful. The trick is to cancel your eye beam with a macro. Only use this if you are playing the Momentum Felrush build, a build where I-Beam is just a catalyst to get you into demon form. If you haven't yet, check my guide on it, the link will be in the description below. You can choose to macro either Essence Break or I-Beam itself, it's up to you. As for myself, I prefer to macro Essence Break, as that will always be the button we will want to press right after I-Beam. Now, why would we want to cancel I-Beam? Well, you will notice that Demonic will grant you 6 seconds of Demon Form. However, those 6 seconds are the value you are supposed to get once Ibeam finishes channeling. So what happens if you manually cancel Ibeam with this macro? Yep, you get 6 seconds plus the remaining duration of your Ibeam. This effectively gives you a longer Demon Form, increasing the damage and dealing you will do by quite a bit. This also makes it very hard to get interrupted during I-Beam, because it will only channel for as long as a global cooldown. Guys, nobody does this yet, make use of this trick and you will prevail above other demon hunters. Now to the second trick. This one is known and has been used for quite a long time, and it is the Hunt Animation Cancel Macro. This is incredibly useful and you can use it in two different scenarios. First, to react to a defensive ability, maybe an immunity that has suddenly been used on your kill target, giving you the chance to not waste your Da Hunt cooldown and save it for after the defensive wears off. Or, secondly, you can use this trick to make your opponent believe you will actually cast the hunt on them, and thus making him waste his defensives while you react the same way as in the first example, cancelling your Da Hunt cast and using it later when the target is defenseless. This is known as the Hunt Bait, and using it will give you a clear advantage. Now to my third trick. By now, we all know that you can use Reverse Magic to reflect harmful magic effects from both you and your teammates. For example, Roots, Freezes, Polymorphs, Axes, Fears, Hammers of Justice, and so on. But did you know that you can reflect a Priest Mind Games ability? Yep, you actually can. This effectively gives Demon Hunters the ability to Mind Game a Mind Game. Yeah, that's right, Demon Hunter ain't the class to play games with. We are Chaos Incarnate, we are Legion. Alright, now to my fourth trick. Metamorphosis actually gives you a few frames of immunity to both damage and crowd control. To take advantage of this, I strongly recommend you to use this macro as it will make your Metamorphosis ability instantly go off on key press on your cursor location, allowing you to react immediately to a big incoming damage ability, and that ability can very well be another Demon Hunter's The Hunt. Yes, you heard right. You can Metamorphosis another Demon Hunter's The Hunt ability and he will get it on cooldown for as long as he finished its cast, while you won't even get affected by the dot effect. It will be just as if he used it on Thin Hair. Use this to outplay enemy demon hunters, they might even rage quit right there and then. But that's not all guys, you can also use metamorphosis to get out of grounding abilities that lock you in place. For example, a warrior's bastion spear or a druid's ursul's vortex. You can also use this ability to move through a monk's Ring of Peace. Talking about Ring of Peace, now to my fifth trick. You can use Vengeful Retreat to move through a monk's Ring of Peace. This is possible thanks to the PvP talent Glimpse, that makes you immune to crowd control for as long as you are airborne during your Vengeful Retreat animation. Ring of Peace does count as crowd control for this effect, and thus it is overpowered by Glimpse. Actually, even Felrush can cross Ring of Peace, you just have to time it right as you come in contact with it, and you will often make it through. Make use of this to make enemy monks question if you are actually using sheets. It's always funny to get those kind of whispers after a match. As a bonus trick, this is more of a reminder, 
Remember that you can use your Consume Magic ability to remove a Paladin's Blessing of Protection. Yes, it might not always work, because another effect might get removed instead, but guys, it is always worth it to give it a shot, and I assure you that you will be surprised by how often it will work. As for my experience, it removes Blessing of Protection more often than not, so just make sure to consume magic right away as soon as you see that Blessing of Protection go up on any of the enemy targets. And that's it guys, get used to these tips and tricks, if you didn't use any of this, I highly encourage you to start doing so, as they will make you an unstoppable force of a demon hunter. Also, I might chop this video into a few shorts for my mobile viewers, so if you watch both my regular and my short videos, that's why you might see these tips come up again in the next few days in that different short format. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing, stay safe, stay strong, and I will see you in the arena.